contribution to the city of Hampton and to the greater uh, Virginia Peninsula. We're so pleased that uh, 50 years ago, uh, that this location in the city of Hampton was chosen to be uh, the, the site of our Hampton campus and has served the citizens and residents of the Virginia Peninsula over these past years in an effective manner. We appreciate so much your recognition uh, of, of our efforts and our partnership in serving all the citizens of our region. Thank you. And Governor Nelson, what an honor to have you with us today. Uh, we are so pleased that uh, uh, Thomas Nelson, that uh, the original board for Thomas Nelson had the good sense uh, back there in 1967 to say that we didn't want to just call it mm, this, this community college or that one, but to name it after one of our most distinguished uh, ancestors here on the peninsula, uh, a person who uh, saw the future in your time, what that future was, that we didn't have to stick with the way the past was we could honor the past, but we needed to forge a, a new way, a new nation. You were right in the middle of that effort as a uh, member of the Continental Congress and signer of the Declaration of Independence. And then when the war came, you personally uh, led the effort here in Virginia at great personal sacrifice. Uh, to ensure that we would be a free and independent nation. Could we have a better namesake than Governor Nelson for what he has done? <laughs> and Governor Nelson, you began your remarks with the recognition that you and your family, as residents of, uh, of the York, Yorktown area of the peninsula, saw a strong need in your lives to give back to the larger community. And what I want to tell you is that I think you're, you, would be, you should be particularly proud of that this college in your, that is named in your honor has carried that great tradition on of service that the students who are here at the college, the many graduates and those who've attended the college over the past 50 years have come after the benefits of the education that we provided to them, have seen a new role for themselves as productive members of our society and contributing members of our society, understanding that they need to give back just as you gave back in that day. And back in your day, where it was kind of a small group that saw that obligation. We, of course, are Democracies College, and we have extended that to all members of our community, that it is their responsibility to contribute to the greater good by doing that, and I think you'd be so proud, I, think, I know you are so proud to know that that has occurred here at, uh, at Thomas Nelson. Students, uh, it's so good to see you here today. Uh, it's good, I hope that you are, and I know that you are, appreciative of the fact that you are here and are able to benefit uh, from the college's instruction and services, the care uh, that we provide for you, the opportunities that we open for you, and to take advantage of that. It didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. We've been working at this for 50, 50 years. And I particularly want to recognize and have you recognize our current students, those members who are sitting to my right here and also to my left, uh, uh, former faculty and staff members here at the college who've given so much over the years to make this the institution that we have. Let's give them a hand. And of course, we have our current faculty and staff here, students, who I know that you interact with every day. And I know that you understand uh, and appreciate what they provide for the college. I also would like to recognize two of our college board members, 
Mr. John McMillan, uh, John, uh, who serves as chair of the board representing the city of Newport News. And back a little bit farther, Mr. Leonard Sledge, who a uh, member of the college board who represents the city of Hampton. Thank you so much for being here. Well, as uh, Mayor Tuck indicated, this is going to be an 18-month celebration, and today is the launch of that effort. Many more events are going to be happening, and we want to make sure that you'll be a part of those as we continue on. We thought we were going to put it out there in the courtyard. A plane was going to fly over with a sign, Thomas Nelson celebrating 50 years, etc. But, you know, uh, our, just like Thomas Nelson dealt with adversity, you know, when it comes, you just make the best of what you can. And we made the best of what we can today, and we're really celebrating here in the gallery here at Thomas Nelson. So, whatever the weather, we're going to celebrate, we're going to make our own sunshine, right? <laughs> I get to offer a toast to Thomas Nelson here, to Thomas Nelson, the Peninsula's Community College, where for some over 50 years now, and where it continues to be, and will it will always be, where success is closer than you think.